Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Satisfaction Saturday. It's a Satisfaction Saturday for so many people in so many ways. I want to first of all pause to give a shout out to all of our graduates. I am so certain that you and your family feel great satisfaction for those of you who are graduating this morning and for those of you who are getting ready for graduations on tomorrow. May the Lord bless you. May heaven smile upon you. What a wonderful day uh, to celebrate. And we thank God for the satisfaction and knowing you have done all that he's assigned to you to do. Uh, So have you done what the dean and what uh, the uh, administration expected of you. And congratulations to you as you begin a new life. Today, I ask that you look with me into the gospel according to St. Luke, the 12th chapter, verses 29 through 32. It's a very powerful passage. It's a passage that I want to focus and give my attention, especially to all of our graduates and to all of us, because he tells us, first of all, We should not be concerned about what we're going to eat or drink. Don't worry about such things. You know, too often times in this world, we we think too much about too many things. And we forget that God promises he will protect, he will guide, and he will provide. Just the past couple days, we've talked about Psalm 23 and that the Lord is our shepherd and he will guide us and he will give us everything that we need. And so I want to remind all of our graduates and all of those who have a new beginning to establish it with some new priorities. Uh, We must not think about those very simple things because those things will be taken care of when we have our priorities in order. He tells us, don't worry about what we're going to eat or what we're going to drink. He said, because those things are the things that are dominated in the minds of the unbelievers and the father in heaven already knows what you need. And it lets us see, secondly, that God knows everything that you need and he will never let his children be in need of anything. God is a provider. God makes sure he gives those who are his everything that they need and even the desires of our hearts. You know, he tells us in verse 31, which is uh, our primary focus, he tells us to seek the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you everything you need. When we have our priorities, a new beginning, graduation is called commencement. It means something has ended and something new is beginning. As we commence a new day, we must make sure that we seek God first, seek his kingdom above all else. Make God our highest priority. Make it our delight to delight ourselves in him, to make sure that we are honoring God with his word and by living the life that's exemplary, that we have been born again and that we've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. Now we know that God gives us grace and mercy. But by the same token, we should know that there's an expectation that we should all have for each other as believers. When we put our faith in God, we know that there are certain things that we will not do because it would not bring glory to God's name. That's why it's so important for us to make sure that when we have a graduation, it's a new beginning. We start life anew. We start it afresh and we start it with new priorities. Our priorities are putting God first to make sure that we live out the call of what God has placed upon our lives. At the moment when all of us are born, at the moment of conception, at the moment in which God brings us into this world, even when God had us in his mind, when we were in his presence in heaven, before we came to earth, God had something for us to do. For some of us, it's brief. For others, it might be a little bit more extended time. But it does not matter because we must remind ourselves God will allow us to accomplish that which he has set before us before he allows us to go back to eternity. So he tells us in verse 32. So don't be afraid, just like the sheep. Don't be afraid because your father gives you gives him great happiness to give you the kingdom. You know, God has given us all eternal life, but he wants us to have an abundant life down here. Let's make sure we put our priorities in order. Let's seek to serve God, to live for God, to do the things he's called us to do, to live a life that will bring him glory, to live a life that will cause men and women, boys and girls to say, I want some of what they have because I see they have commencement. They've had commencement. They have new priorities. You know, when you graduate, you don't have to go to those classes anymore. When you graduate, you put on a cap and gown. When you graduate, you turn your tassel because things that once were are no longer Because all things are new. You are now degreed. You now have that which you need to go forward. God wants us to grow. God wants us to develop. God wants us to move forward and to never look back at our failures, our past, and allow those to hinder us, but allow those to be moments of inspiration to propel us to go forward. So let's all have a new beginning. 
Let's establish new priorities. Let's go forth and do that which God has called and commissioned us to do. And make sure on tomorrow that your mother, your wife, your sister, that young lady in your life, that one who's a mother to children in your community, make sure you do your ample best to make it a great and a grand Mother's Day for them. And let's do our very best. Remember in this year of 2022, God has a blessing in store for you because you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And we will look forward to seeing you tomorrow in our virtual world worship. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day and may the Lord smile upon you. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.